Hey, I recently took a trip to Zion National Park, and if you're trying to figure out where to stay on your visit, continue watching to learn about the options that are available. I'll separate the locations based on their closeness to the Zion Park south entrance. First is the town of Leverkin, which is where I stayed. Second is the town right outside of the entrance called Springdale. And finally, the last location is inside the park itself. In Leverkin, the place I stayed at is called Zion Camp and Cottages, which is roughly 30 minutes away from the park entrance. For roughly $60 per night, let's take a look at what that pays for. Inside of the room, you have a kitchen with everything you need minus a stove. The bathroom is nicely stocked, organized, and clean. The room has two bunk beds, a queen bed, and comfortably sleeps four people. Here is the wall-mounted TV and a nice desk to put your stuff. The room also sports a powerful AC unit and a ceiling fan. I was very happy with where I stayed considering the nightly cost. However, the trade-off is that we had to drive to and from the park each day, accounting for approximately one hour of the day. This is definitely a budget-friendly option if you're willing to make that drive. The second option is Springdale, which is much closer to the entrance of the park. Depending on where you stay, it could take 10 to 15 minutes to drive there, or you can even walk to the entrance. The prices here at the time of this recording generally range in the high $100 to mid $200 per night. The last location is the Zion National Park Lodge, which is inside of the park. Here is a view from the beautiful lawn right outside the lodge. There are three lodging options in increasing price. You can book a cabin, hotel room, or suite. The cabins have either two double beds or one queen. The hotel rooms have two queen beds or one king. And the suites have a separate sleeping room with a king-sized bed. All come with full baths, fridges, AC, microwaves, etc. At this time, they are $220, $230, $288 per night, respectively. Staying at the lodge will give you easy access to all hiking trails without the need to use a car to get around. In addition, to get around the park, there are free shuttle rides that run until 8 p.m. at night. These shuttles are available to everyone that is inside the park, regardless if you're staying at the lodge or not. There are no shortages of places to eat in Springdale. We ate at Mimi's Cafe, which serves burgers and crepes. And there's also a grocery store next door called Soul Food Supermarket. If you'd like to enjoy some of these views and hikes around Zion National Park, you have many options to book lodging from. From budget-friendly choices that trade convenience with cost, to locations that provide easy access to the park that are a bit more pricey. There are a variety to choose from and an option that will work for you. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, Consider subscribing and liking it to let us know. Thanks for watching.